Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. In the series of examination that I want you to look at, you know, JE of course, Bitspell and Witty, we are, uh, you know, I've told you that about 5-6 exams, it's what you must keep an eye on. One of them is Manipal Entrance Test, right? Which is from the Manipal Academy of Higher Education, which is also called MAHE, which is a deemed to be private university, right? The reason why we're going to recommend that, I'll talk to you based on the data that we have at this point in time, so that, you know, there are about six, seven entrance examinations that I would always want you to keep an eye on. Uh, JE being one of them, Bitspilane, Vitti, Manipal, Amrita, and SRM JE. The reason why we do that is the, the chances of you getting into these colleges is better because of the kind of scale at which they operate. Let me explain to you through data. Before I move any further, please subscribe to BTEC360 if you've not already done that because this will be a single point destination for all students who are wanting to get into BTEC courses or any of the students who are looking over STEM courses, right? So we're going to cover that everything out here. What we'll cover through this, we'll talk of the campuses that accepted, the selection process, the eligibility criteria, the placements, which is what you always look for, and the kind of fees is that charge. Now, Manipal entrance test is essentially for the following five campuses. Manipal, of course, it's a beautiful, beautiful campus. You must go there. It's a massive, massive campus. You know, uh, you need to actually have a vehicle to go around the campus also. It's so big and all. But all the data that we're presenting is only for MIT, which is Manipal Institute of Technology, which is engineering part of it. They also have medical KMC, which is the biggest medical college in the country, is in Manipal in, in the, as a part of the same campus. The best in architecture, the best in dental, and so on and so forth. But what we're talking at this point in time is MIT, which is Manipal in, Institute of Technology. Now, MIT uh, Manipal, they also now have a campus in Bangalore. It's a, again a very huge campus, very close to the airport. Then you actually have Manipal University Jaipur, which is a state private university. Private university. But the engineering admissions here also go through the Manipal entrance test. Though it's a separate entity, legal entity in that sense, same owners, but legal entity is separate state private university. It also you know, seek students from, for the admission for the engineering test is done by, from Manipal. And same with Sikka Manipal. So these two are separate universities. This is MAHE, which is Manipal Academy of Higher Education. Now, what is MIT Manipal? As I told you earlier, it is established in 1957. So it's one of the oldest engineering colleges that you have in this country. 57, 1957, which means we're talking of 43 plus 25, about 68 years of legacy that you're dealing with. It's a constituent college of MAHE, which is, Manipal Academy of Higher Education, which is a deemed to be university and also an institution of eminence as granted by the government of India. It's a private university. It's the ranking is 59th. The number of students is 8,226, of which 76% are boys and 23% are girls. 77% come out from outside the state of Karnataka. 20% students come from, uh, you know, within the state of Karnataka. And about 2% come from outside the country also. So it's very aspirational enough for students to come from outside the country. When you have this kind of a ratio of about 78-80% students coming from outside the state, it means that the college is so aspirational that students from all over the country want to converge to study there because it's a very good college. Typically, a local college will have local students, but good universities, good institutions will actually have students from coming from all over the country, which seems to be have happened here. We are talking of Manipal entrance test at this point in time. So if you confine to that, that is the only admission process which you also can get into Manipal University Jaipur. Now, Manipal University Jaipur has about 8,837 students. It's a state private university to begin with. So that's a deemed to be university, this is a state private university. So as legal entities, they're two different, right? But the common entrance examination is Manipal entrance test. Now, this was established in 2011, state private university. Uh, you know, ranking is 58th, 8,837. Total male 59%, 41% of girls, 88% come from outside the state of Rajasthan. Now, because it's Jaipur, we're talking about the state of Rajasthan. 88% students come from outside the state of Rajasthan, and 8% come from within the state. And about 330 students come from outside the country also, which is a very good number at this point in time. Now, the other campus that uh, where Manipal entrance test is the only way for you to do BTEC is Manipal Bangalore, MIT Bangalore. This is an off-campus of Mahe, right? This was established in 2022. One of the beautiful campus again, spread over 80 acres. Now I think it's big, bigger than that because they're acquiring land around the place. But one of the biggest campuses that you can see in the in the city of Bangalore, right? And it's very, very close to the airport also. It's uh, I think it's the land is more than that. But this was established in 2022. Here also they have some very, very good, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, BTEC courses. And for that also, the entrance test is Manipal entrance test, right? The next one is Sikkim Manipal. Again, this was established long back. Uh, one of the, possibly the one of the earliest universities that you have in this country, established in 1995. 
in 73 acres. Here also to get into the BTEC, you need to go through the Manipal entrance test. Now, what are the faculty details? You actually have about 735 faculty members, of which 538 are PhD and 708 are regular faculty, full-time faculty. So only less than 30 are part-time faculty, about 705 faculty are full-time, of which about 80-85% are actually PhD faculty. And by the way, this ratio is going up. They aim to have about 100% PhD faculty in the next couple of years. So by the time you actually join this place and all, you'll see far, far better numbers. The data that we're talking about is 23-24. Remember that 24-25 would have been better than that. So this data is for 23-24 because that's the last data that we have from the government of India, right? So we are dealing with only that data. But as I know, at this point in time, they're actually increasing the PhD faculty and they want to aim to do finish off to about close to 100% PhD faculty in the next couple of years. So in my opinion, by the time you join this, this ratio would dramatically change to about 90% being PhD faculty first year. Now, I keep saying that we only deal with the government of India data, what is filed in an affidavit to a regulator. You look at this data uh, and this for MIT Manipal. So we're not talking of Bangalore or Jaipur or anything. We are only talking of data of MIT Manipal. In the year 23-24, 1,755 students graduated, 1,140 students were placed, and 288 moved for higher education, and the placed students were at 8.5 lakh average salary, median salary, which is a decent number to deal with because it simply means that you, know, you could actually place so many students at such scale at 8.5 lakh rupees median salary. So when you look at that data from the government of India and when we tabulated that, it essentially says that about 80% students are placed over the previous years and at a median salary of 8.5 lakh or 8.88 lakh. So we're dealing with essentially about 80% student placement. And by the way, this again I'm repeating, this is only for MIT Manipal. Jaipur is different, Bangalore has still not kicked off in terms of its placement process and so on and so forth. But this is a very good number for you to handle. Now, they also have scholarships. Please look at the scholarship. It's 100% waiver for program, hostel, and mess fees for meritorious, economically underprivileged students pursuing a BTEC at MIT Manipal based on a few criteria, including school attendance, family income, below rupees 12 lakh rupees, right? So they do have a 100% fee waiver for meritorious, need-based students. And uh, you also have other free ships also. Please look at the uh, site and you'll understand that, right? Now, what is the examination, MIT ex examination pattern? It's a computer-based test, home proctored, two hours, 60 questions, 240 marks, so four marks for each question, right answer. It's all MCQs and numerical answer type, four marks for each one, and negative marking also is there. And the subjects are mathematics, physics, chemistry, and English. What are the uh, deadlines? The registration has already started in, on September 30th, 2025. Last date to apply is March 15, 2026. So you actually have a couple of months, but please apply if you want to, because here the intake is very large because it's dealing with multiple campuses. You know, what I spoke about is only MIT Manipal. You also have Bangalore, you have Sikkim, you have Jaipur, and then you have other uh, a couple of other things also. And Manipal is a very good university to back, right? The examination slot booking is April 2026. Exam is on in April 26. Result will also come in April 26, and the slot booking for uh, counseling is May again, right? Now, if you want me to cover any other engineering college or any other examination, please write to me at, uh, uh, in the message box and I'll be more than happy to deal with that. If you want to have our one of our counselors talk to you, send us a message on this number and we'll be happy to talk about that. Our uh, objective, our vision, our uh, endeavor is always to help you get into the best engineering college. That's why we're covering this. Please subscribe to BTEC360 if you've not already done that. Thank you so much. Namaste.